Today on How It's Done, Canna Butter. This ingredient is essential to any THC infused recipe, and the success or failure of these recipes is often largely dependent on how well the canna butter is made. The uh, chef begins by assembling the necessary materials cannabis, one stick or one half cup of unsalted butter, a pot, <laughs> an oven safe dish or baking tray, another container, and a fine mesh strainer or equivalent filter. It's best to ensure the area is well ventilated to reduce the odor of cannabis, if this is a concern. Then, the oven is preheated to 225 degrees Fahrenheit for well-cured herbs and 250 degrees if they're more moist. It's important to use an oven with an accurate temperature gauge to ensure proper decarboxylation of the precursor THCA into psychoactive THC by removing the carboxylic acid group. The fresh cannabis flowers are then finely ground onto the baking tray, as fine as possible, in order to maximize the surface area. Between 3.5 and 14 grams, or between 1 8 and 1 half an ounce, are used, based on 15 to 28 percent THC content cannabis. This amount can be adjusted based on personal THC tolerance and desired potency of the final product. Once the cannabis is ground, it's placed onto the middle rack of the oven and left to bake <laughs> for 45 minutes. The cannabis is now decarboxylated and appears toasted with a golden brown tint. The oven is turned off, eventually, if the chef remembers. Next, infusion. The pot is filled with at least 4 inches, or 10.16 centimeters, of water, and the stick of butter is added. The butter is clarified, or even ghee is used to obtain the highest fat content. THC is fat soluble. So a high fat content will ensure that all THC present will bind to the fat. Sometimes other fatty substances like coconut oil, peanut butter, or heavy cream are used. Lecithin is sometimes added to further increase absorption. The decarb cannabis is stirred in, and the pot <laughs> is brought to a simmer. The mixture is allowed to simmer and stirred occasionally for 60 to 90 minutes. Water is replaced as it evaporates in order to keep it at least 4 inches deep. The chef removes the pot from the heat source, probably remembering to turn it off eventually. The mixture is then poured through the strainer into the waiting container. The plant matter is mashed with a spoon in order to ensure as little butter is wasted as possible. The plant matter can also be left in for reasons of flavor, texture, fiber, increased potency, or it's just too much damn work. The container is carefully placed in a refrigerator and left to cool overnight, or at least six to eight hours, enough time for the butter to rise to the top and completely solidify. Remembering to close the fridge door is an important part of this process. The solidified butter is cut out. This final product can be substituted for butter in any of your favorite recipes. We made cookies and got so high. Remember, THC edibles take significantly longer to take effect and last significantly longer than smoked THC. It's best to start out with a small amount, wait an hour or so to observe the high, and take more as desired. And if you take too much, whatever. Yeah.